we are on our way to go to Ian's first doctor's appointment with the NHS. Now that he has an NHS number, as do I, we are using NHS services to evaluate Ian's tennis elbow that he's had now for five months. So we're hoping that that works out well, better than our painting and plastering project, which as you can see from our car is not working out well. <laughs> we are going to the tip, as they call it the, around here, uh, later today to get rid of all the rubbish that the painter left in our bedroom that still is not painted because he's stood us up for the fifth time. So that's not going well, but hopefully the doctor's appointment will go better. Hello, we are back from the doctor's appointment and the tip, and we're here to give you the NHS first appointment report. So Ian and I have actually not talked about this yet. So Ian, let's hear your opinion of what you thought about your first visit to the doctor using the NHS. Uh, so I thought it was, it was good. We didn't have to wait. Uh, the, the, the appointment happened on time. Uh, quite frequently when you go to a U.S. doctor, you end up waiting in their waiting room, especially if it's late in the afternoon, waiting in the waiting room a long time. As I pointed out in my <laughs> video comparing U.S. and U.K. doctor visits where you pay privately, check out that video in the description if you haven't watched that already. But anyway, back to Ian. So, on time. On time. Um, the doctor was very reasonable about what he said. He did say that I would get better treatment in the U.S. seeing a specialist there. Um, that I was more likely to get, you know, more advanced treatments. Um, so I wonder if, if you, that's true. If you, well, <laughs> it probably is. If you pay, if you're willing to pay, you can get whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the one advantage to the system. The disadvantage is it's very expensive, and if you can't afford it, then you're just out of luck mm -hmm. for anything that's not an absolute emergency. Mm -hmm. um, but also, my philosophy about seeing a doctor is. Really, doctors and medical care is only good mostly for life and death death situations, not for something as minor as uh, tennis elbow. Mm -hmm. So I, I, that's been my philosophy all along. I spent thousands and thousands trying to cure my plantar fasciitis, visiting doctors, spent $7,000 on a surgery on one foot, made absolutely no difference. So. I feel like if you've got that uh, damaged your faith. <laughs> if you got if you, if you have a heart attack or you've got cancer, that's one thing I'll say is that I've had two relatives here in the UK. Most of my relatives live here, who've had um, significant health issues. One of them had cancer, and they were treated here in Cheltenham, and the treatment was excellent. It cured their their cancer was cured. Um, so that that's that's a, a a very good um you know experience and then another relative of mine had a heart condition and they received very very good care as well um prompt and thorough prompt care. and 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 thorough care and mm -hmm. uh, they were in the hospital for for a couple of days and um and that was a good experience ian's ailment was not life-threatening it's just tennis elbow it's just irritating and yeah. keeps you from doing some of the the heavy lifting you'd like to be able to do on a daily basis so yeah. um as expected, the doctor took a more conservative approach. He didn't jump immediately to doing a steroid shot. He said that studies have shown a few months after steroid shots, it doesn't always work. So he suggested to try more conservative ways of treating it first. And because we said we were headed back to Texas in a couple weeks, he said, better you just see your specialist there rather than me starting to give you some treatment and then you just having to shift over mm -hmm. to a specialist in Texas. So yeah. um, if it had been me, I probably would have said, hey, give me a steroid shot for free. But Ian didn't want to do that. So it, it's, it's Ian's elbow. So we're going to go back to uh, Texas and see what kind of next steps we have there. And in the meantime, he's going to do all of the home care stuff that he's been trying to do icing it and, and um, anti-inflammatory cream and things like that. And we'll see if it gets better. But overall, just to recap, 
Um, we showed up early for the appointment, and so the waiting room was empty, which I never see in the U.S. Um, the doctor himself came and picked us up right on time when it was our appointment. We went in there, he examined Ian. The most, I think, most important thing he did was confirm that it definitely was tennis elbow because you were also concerned, like, could it be arthritis, could it be that? So he definitely examined you and confirmed what the diagnosis was and then gave some good advice and sent us on our way. And we were out of there within 10 minutes and there was no need to check out. You always have to check out in the US. Um, but there was no need to check out. The receptionist just said, no, you're good. You can leave, bye. So I think overall it was a pretty good first experience and uh, hopefully we won't have to have many more experiences. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos about our medical journey so far here in the UK and do something good in the world today.